work is currently underway on the Rickenbacker Causeway, months after a disastrous first attempt caused by a traffic nightmare, in fact. Well, CBS News Miami's Morgan Reiner joins us now. Morgan, some lessons were learned, but heavy traffic, obviously, it's still expected. You can't avoid it. Yeah. How is it looking right now? Because this was an absolute nightmare the last time this happened. It was, but right now, from what I can see, no traffic so far, but it is still very early. The Florida Department of Transportation added they did do a door-to-door -door knocking campaign on Key Biscayne. They've increased signage around the bridge, and they've put out a big social media push to try and give everyone a heads up. Drivers stranded for hours in April. We had a complete closure outbound and northbound in one phase. We had massive vehicular traffic in the area. Mario Cabrera is the District 6 construction engineer. He said the Florida Department of Transportation did not expect this on April 14th when they rerouted drivers coming off the Rickenbacker Causeway from heading westbound on the flyover bridge. Learned is that now we're going to construct this job in two phases. So here's what you can expect to see starting Monday through July 20th. The westbound flyover bridge ramp to southbound on US 1 will be closed. Once completed, the northbound side of the ramp to I 95 will be shut down for repairs from July 21st through August 3rd. Cabrera says that to help ease traffic backup, FDOT hired traffic engineers to provide optimal traffic routes during construction. Police officers will be there every day of the ramp closure from 2 to 10 p.m. to direct traffic. Residents hope the plans work to minimize delays. If you're telling me that we're going to have to wait nine hours to get out of the island, I mean, that's crazy. That's the same time to go to Paris. Residents do have questions, like what if there is an emergency? The Florida Department of Transportation says they are working with police and they do have plans to block off the middle lane of the causeway so that emergency vehicles can just skip any and all traffic when needed. I'm live in Miami, Morgan Reiner, CBS News, Miami. Morgan, thank you. Let's get a look at the detours right now with Austin Carter. All right, so we'll show you a map of where these detours are happening on the Rickenbacker. You're looking at uh, some of the colors and the shades there. The yellow is going to be the detour. That's what's going to take you over to a Dixie Highway, continuing on to Route 1 South. Connecting to I-95 through that northbound ramp, that is still open, but what's now closed is that flyover ramp, which is a busy way to get over to I-95. But again, you'll have to hop off there early and take those surface streets just before Brickell Avenue to get you over over towards I-95. Now, when this construction is done on that southbound side and that flyover, then the northbound side will be impacted. And when those closures happen, of course, we will let you know.